Well, as you guys know, in my shout-out of the week, I like to feature folks who I think are underrated on YouTube. And this guy, uh, Palmetto Digger, is going to be my shout-out of the week this week. This guy puts together some really, really creative videos. He shows a lot of the research that he does, and he's a very good metal detectorist. Comes up with some great finds. Palmetto Digger obviously hunts in South Carolina, so he can hunt year-round. Great guy to check out. Guys, I can't believe he only has 123 subs right now. We can do better than that, guys. Let's get out there and support this guy. Get out there, give him a sub, check out his videos. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Palmetto Digger, this week's shout-out of the week. Hey everybody, it's Matt with Tar Heel Digging. Just wanted to show off a couple of display cases that I received here not too long ago. I purchased three different display cases from a company called Southern Star Wood Display Cases. They're out of uh, Tennessee, I believe it's Clarksville, Tennessee. They do a really nice high quality job. These, these are not the cheapest display cases you can buy, I promise you that, but they're also probably not the most expensive either. They're very high quality, they do a really nice job on these cases. And it's definitely something uh, I would recommend. In fact, I'll give you a little link to uh, their website down below here in the description. So if you want to look down below in the description, that'll be the, the link to the website. Anyway, I put together here a display case of some finds that Woody and I made at one particular plantation. And we put this together, um, well, for a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, we've been asked by a local historian to place this collection into his uh, a library for about a month. He's putting together a uh, display about uh, plantation homes uh, in the county in which I live in North Carolina. And so he wants to put this on display. Uh, well, he'll have it for about a month and then it'll go to the plantation owner's home. Now the display case belongs to Woody and I and, and the finds that are inside it, but the neat thing is we get to display it and put our business cards up next to it. So if there's any other plantation owners that are interested in having their property metal detected, um, we'll be contacted by them hopefully, and uh, that'll give us some more property. Uh, these business cards are something that I had printed up. Uh, it's got my contact information and everything on the other side. It's a two-sided business card. Uh, I'd highly recommend if any of you guys uh, uh, want to get into metal detecting real heavy and wants, want to get as, as many um, permis permissions as you can, those business cards can, can get you a lot of mileage. But anyway, I wanted to go over just a few of the details that are in this display case, and uh, we can kind of go over them one at a time here. I'm hoping that I can show you this and, and stay away from the glare. Um, anyway, this uh, this first find was my uh, cast Confederate Block I infantry button that was found on that property. And again, all these are from the same property, guys. Multiple hunts, but the same property. Here's a, uh, a nice flat button that has a lot of gold gild left on it. There's a silver thimble that we found. Here's a uh, infantry button, Eagle infantry button, Civil War era. And it's a large musket ball, about a 50, 54 caliber. So there's another flat button, a lot of gold gild on that one too. This one's kind of neat. It's a tobacco leaf pendant. Kind of cool coming from a plantation. Um, this one's kind of cool too. The family that used to live there many, many years ago actually uh, were from Great Britain. And this piece is a uh, keyhole cover. Uh, and it is... It was definitely made in Great Britain. There's a VR on there, uh, and, and the crown, the, the English crown, which is uh, uh, pretty typical of items that were made in Great Britain at the time. Uh, there's a large scent that Woody found, and another flat button. I know he found a ton of these Scoville flat buttons out there. Moving up a row, here's a silver pendant. That's uh, uh, the Virgin Mary, Catholic pendant. This was the uh, 1860 presidential campaign token that I found. Got a cool video on that from uh, last fall. There's another button. This is a four-hole button, manufactured in New York. And there's a mercury dime. So there's some more modern things in here as well. That's a 1943. Here's an older item. It's a Tomback button. Most of these were manufactured back in the late 1700s. Into the top row, this is an 1854 five cent piece from France, Napoleon III. There's a buffalo nickel, 1929, I believe it is. 
a 1936 S Mercury Dime, so a little more rare. An old suspender buckle. And last but certainly not least is a uh, North Carolina Sunburst button. This is a Confederate button from North Carolina. Very rare. Woody found that one, and it's in great shape. So anyway, that's kind of a look at uh, the one display paste, pl display place, display case that we put together for one plantation that we hunted. I'm sure we're not done hunting there yet, but just had to throw this together. It's just too impressive to just throw in a dr dark drawer somewhere and and uh, you know forget you even have it. Um, nice to be able to display these things. And again, if you're looking for some good display cases, high quality stuff, Southern Star wood display cases out of uh, Tennessee. Check them out on the internet. Okay, here's the larger display case that I got too, guys. That last one was uh, 12 by 18. This one's 18 by 24, so twice the size. I'm starting to put my silver coins away in this one. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to organize them yet. I've got all the, the Merc Dimes down here, a few Barbers over here, uh, Rosie Dimes up there, and I got some silver quarters. And uh, this is, believe it or not, this was my first silver coin that I ever found, and it's that 1816 Spanish Real. So if anyone asks me uh, how I got into metal detecting and, and what find really got me hooked, well, that's the one right there. That's that Spanish Real from 1816. First silver coin I ever found. And all these came later. And there'll be more to add. But I'm not sure how I'm going to organize this yet. I like the dark green color, the dark green felt. And you can buy these uh, with interchangeable colors. They have red and, and blue. And, and, and this dark green color, I think, really makes the silver coins pop. So that's why I'm using it. But just wanted to show you that one, too. They have a variety of different uh, sizes and colors to, to choose from. Mix them and match them however you want. Okay, that's enough with the display cases. Let's go out and see if we can find something to put in these display cases. Let's go hunting, guys. Well, it took me a while to locate this one, guys, but I finally got it out of the ground. You can see it right here. It's like a child's ring. Yeah, there's Ariel, the Disney ring. Looks like it's going to be a junker, but still pretty cool. All right, on to the next. Okay, guys, got a nice 1246 signal, only about five inches down. I just popped the plug, and here's what I'm looking at. I'm seeing some green discs here. There's two of them. And then another one here. I think this is a wheat penny. Let's see what we got here. There's two of them stacked on top of each other. Mm, they're stuck together. That's definitely a wheat. There, they're unstuck. Both wheat pennies. Alright, what else we got in here? Two more. Stuck together. Looks like they're both wheat pennies. Wow, why can't these be dimes, huh? <laughs> All right, what else we got? There's something there. <sighs> oh, another weedy. So there's five. Let's see if there's anything else. Let's get the pinpointer out. Hmm, that might, might be more. Yeah, we'll shovel around in there and see what we can come up with, I guess. All right. Well, I guess that's going to be it. I'll run the detector over it, but hey, pretty cool. Five penny wheats. Very nice. Nice little spill. Gotta love it.